Seoul's Unification Ministry laid out its expectations on North Korean affairs for 2020. Prospects for cross-border relations and Pyongyang-Washington nuclear negotiations are still gloomy with the possibility of the regime officially declaring a halt to talks with the U.S. Wu Jianghe fills us in. While nearing Pyongyang's unilateral year-end deadline on the nuclear talks and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's New Year's address on January 1st, the South Korean government says North Korea could officially halt its negotiations with the U.S. in 2020. On Tuesday, Seoul's Unification Ministry issued its 2019 analysis and 2020 forecast of North Korean affairs. It says Pyongyang could declare a suspension of its nuclear negotiations with the U.S. unless tangible progress is seen by the end of this year. The North, however, would not go as far as an extreme confrontation with the U.S. like it did in 2017. But the ministry says military tensions could escalate on the Korean Peninsula due to Seoul's joint military drills with Washington and the introduction of new weapons. The government expects the deadlock in inter-Korean relations to continue next year because North Korea believes there's nothing South Korea can do in the nuclear talks. The North Korea-U.S. summit this past February in Hanoi fell apart with no agreement, and Pyongyang is warning that it'll go ahead and take a new path if its nuclear talks bear no fruit by the end of the year. That new path, according to Seoul's Unification Ministry, includes boosting the regime's military and economic power. The North is developing new missiles and building large-scale tourist districts and power plants. According to South Korea, the North is also likely to keep strengthening its ties with China and Russia and use that as leverage against the U.S. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.